Yo, what's up, guys? We got a free R5 event going on once again. No, I'm just joking with you. Your thing is not on multiple times speed. I just fucked you up with the intro and stuff. If I got you on that one, you gotta like this video. Come on, I gotta have some fun with that shit. But let's get into the video. So we have an event of free R5 coming up. Uh, you can also use this in the Rift Beasts, like the uh, Elementals one, the Ice one, the Fire one, etc. But in most of the people will do R5, and I probably do recommend to do R5 if you have that ruined up. However, there's one big issue with R5. It really sucks. And I'm going to explain you why it sucks and how we can fix it in this video. Might you, of course, ask, like, say, but why does R5 sucks? That's where we get all the grinds. That's where we get all the good stuff, right? So, yeah, that's where we get grinds. But there's a big issue is that we can get all of the grinds. And there's a lot of grinds that we simply do not need. We don't need them really that much for seal. We don't need them for tolerance, accuracy, enhanced determination. Fight, arguably, we don't need that many of, but then also a whole bunch of, like, shields we don't need too many of, we don't need too many of vampires, I would say a deer is not that useful, focus is not that useful, guard is not that useful, energy is not that useful. Sure, you want a few of those, but having everything out there, which is a 1, 2, 3, 4, a 5, a 6, a 7, a 8, a 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 different types, but yeah, you can maybe exclude this. Maybe I count them one wrong. I think it is easier to actually count it in here because here you can see them in two rows. Six by four, that's 24 minus one. Okay, 23. But I guess we can exclude this one because you don't get that too often. 23 different types and we're mainly looking for four, which is Swift, Will, Despair, Vio, and then a little bit on the sides. So we're looking for four in 23 in most cases, and then a little bit on sides that we also can use. That just makes it where R5 is gonna get you a lot of these drops, which you really don't need. And then you end up with a pile. Let's see if we can look up a few nice examples over here. You get things like this. Uh, okay, these are still like tolerance, eight of those, useful. Eight speeds on tolerance, useful. Attack seal, eight, very useful. These we don't really need too much, but those are flats, which are also not helpful. Speeds on accuracy, 8. Seal defense, 8. A lot of those things. Endure, 6 on speeds. Like, all of those things we get way too many of. We really don't need those. And, yeah, let me first talk about what are the odds of actually getting those things. And then we're going to talk about how could come to us improve that. So, there's a few ways that they could improve that. But, first of all, let's look at the actual odds that there are. To get any legendary grind of, let's say we want specifically a swift legendary grind on speed. And oh boy, let me tell you, it's not that easy. So we can check once again in Swar Farm, which I always like to use for all of those kind of videos where I like to talk about odds and things. We can check the numbers over here. So first of all, we're looking at a 90.2 chance to get a grindstone. We do not include, in this case, the Beasts and Horns, which do improve your drop rate by a little bit, but Beast Claws are pretty nice to get. Horns are still super freaking rare, so it does help it out a little bit, but I think they definitely can still improve this drop rate to be a little bit more to get in your specific ones. So then after that, we're looking for Swift in this pile. Well, everything is about 4.6. It is odd to see that some are on 5, some are on 3.9s. I don't really know how or why or when that happens like there, there's strange that some are different like accuracy is 3.9 enhanced 3.9 but tolerance is uh, 5.4 how many data does go in there it has a decent amount of records that i would say that the data should be kind of somewhat accurate but i think the average should be around like 4.6 so we're gonna take 4.6 and swift is this point uh, or in this case 4.5 but we're gonna take 4.6 and then we also got to be looking at a legendary of 4.2 and then we also got to be looking at speed that is well, I guess that this should be averaging out average as well. So we're just going to take the average between those because speed does show lower in here. No, we're just going to take the low on speed. We, we can chase the numbers later anyway. So let's look at the numbers that we have in a sheet. Sheet. So first of all, we're going to do number of runs. Let's say we do a hundred runs and we get uh, grinds at a... Let's actually put that over there. We get grinds at a rate of a 90.2. We also get, uh, we wanted Swift, and we get Swift at a chance of a 4.6% chance. I just write it this way so it's easier to multiply them. And then we get the uh, Speed Grind at a chance of 14.3. Oh, wait, I have to write it properly, 14.3, which is written like this if you go for percentage. And then we also still need to get a Legendary. 
Because otherwise you just get them as blue clues. And we do not need blue clues. And that number is uh, this. So then we can simply say, if we do 100 runs, how many times do we get a grind? Well, that is 90.2 times. Who would have guessed? In this case, let's see how many times do we also get them. In this case, this times this. How many times? We get about a 4.1 times a swift grind in the first place. But then we want them specifically on speed, which would be, that would be a 0 0.6 times for a hundred runs. But then we also need them as a legendary. That would end up at a 0 0.49. Okay, yeah. I did already kind of try and error, like how many runs do you need to do to actually get one in this case on average. Keep in mind it is on average and keep in mind that you also get everything else while getting this. So it is a little bit back and forth, but let's say that you need about 4,013 runs to get the average of one legendary in everything on every set with 23 different room types. That is highly annoying, um, because you know what 4,000 runs mean. We have 9 energy for that, which is going to be 36,000 energy that we would need. Let's calculate that back to crystals. That would be a good 10,000 crystals for one legendary swift grind. If you're just aiming for that one legendary swift grind, it's even close to 11k crystals. So this is energy, uh, this is runs, and this is crystals. And then you know what? Your legendary speed grind will roll a four, 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 four. It's gonna get a four. Yeah, you can go again for that grind. Fuck that shit. So, first things first. What can they fix? Well, we are looking at this number, which is just incredibly low, which is pretty much the odds of a tire like divided by 23. I think it's about 22. Then you get to the number, like intangible doesn't really fit in. So, it might be even that this is the true average, which would make things a little bit worse even. Because then we need more numbers, or then we actually need like more runs to get. So then we need it about there, so, so something like that. So even more crystals, nice. So, but that is the average rate. Let's say that come to us allows us to remove a bunch of the grinds. Just, just saying like, let's say remove five. So we can remove one, two, three, four. And then you could go for anything you don't really like as well. Something you don't farm. Like, let's say you never farmed dragons. You just remove endure. So you remove five. That would mean that we would have to go this 17. So we would be changing this number over here to a 588. And then we can already see this number being a lot different, which means that we only need to do, let's say, how many runs? Then we would actually have to spend about 3k less crystals to get that one grind grind. Wouldn't that be amazing? Just just removing five things. So we're not even saying remove everything. They're just removing five. That would already be so nice. And let's say they would add R6 rather than R5. Because, well, level five. It's also funny to see that all of these drop tables are exactly the same for all five levels. Like, why the hell would you even put it in there? But fair, fair, fine, fine. Um, but let's say that they would make R6. And R6 has a lot better legendary rate. So... Let's compare how much the rate is for a B10 compared to a B12 on legendary rate. And then we put that improvement for legendary rate also towards the improvement over here. So we're going to look at a, let's say, Giant Keep B10 and then a B12. So B10 legendary rate is going to be a 4.3. Easy number. So that is pretty much the same as uh, the other one. And then this one, oh, B12 currently doesn't have any data. Why not? Why would B12 not have any data? Oh, B12, I clicked B12, but B12, of course, doesn't exist anymore. So, okay, this one. Which one does it have? 10%. So that is a good improvement over there. So we can pretty much, since the other one was also uh, pretty much the same number, we can actually change that over, and it was a 0.3. So we can change that, and boom! Even way less runs that we need to do. So about 1,281. I do have to keep in mind that I still have this number change, which I probably should be switching back. But this is 3.5k crystals. Sure, it would be fair then that this would probably cost 10 energy. So 10 energy instead of the uh, 9 energy, because it would make sense that our uh, 6 would cost more energy in the first place. So just keeping things fair, right? And then let's also say that we still keep in all of the grinds for everything, which does have to mean that this number goes up by about 25% again. We're going down from 11k crystals or 10 point something k crystals to 5k crystals by just adding a b6. So we don't even have to change of removing any of those things in here. 
but we already would simply just reduce that by so much that it would just be nice and that's even already including that b6 uh, would cost one extra energy even if b6 would cost like 15 energy it would still be cheaper they would have to make b6 uh like 25 energy to <laughs> make it like an unfair trade so that is just the amount of drop rate that i would really like to see for uh legendaries in this sure you have to keep in mind with like the horns and blah 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 but to be honest i think that they can really improve those drop the rates as well because currently i think everyone is just mindlessly farming runes and runes and runes but maxing out your runes no one is really doing all too much because r5 is just a pain in the bottle plus you have the big issue especially for uh like the four to five at least it will roll a four but the differences where i don't really get it is why is it a five to ten five to ten is such a big gap where even the other one is a four to seven shouldn't be this minimum be a seven to ten like minimum because a five to ten doesn't make any sense why could a legendary roll lower than a three to six like in the first place that, that doesn't make any sense why the hell is this a number plus what they could maybe do is if your last time something rolled a low number then the odds of you getting a higher number on the next time is higher you could arguably say like okay every time that you use a legendary it's minimum plus one personally i wouldn't mind that i would absolutely not mind that if they would do that and then maybe even would that be too bad if they would make heroes if they would do that for speeds it would be kind of easy to get like a first a four in and then you first do a, uh, like enough heroes to a four and then every legendary is instantly a five would maybe be a little bit cheating I could see it for like the other grinds. You put in a seven from the uh, heroes at first, and then you throw another one, it becomes eight, then another one nine, and then another one ten, and then you finally have to max out. It costs you four legendary grinds. That kind of makes sense, I would say, or three. I would say for legendary speeds, maybe by max it just costs you two. So that, something like that. Maybe, I, I don't know. Anything to make it a little bit more consistent. However, I do know Contus likes its RNG values and blah, 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 yada, yada, that kind of stuff. But it would be very nice if something like this, either the uh, R6, and then make R6 difficult. Because in the end, a new account, if you put effort to it, you can farm R5 within a month. Easily. Easily. I can do it in a week or two weeks on a fresh account. I'm pretty sure people that start playing the game first time around probably take two to three months um if you know what you're doing a month easily if you follow guides and you're a new player probably also still a month it's really not that hard and it's completely free to play all free to play units and then it's still clearing like under a minute it's even like r5 is super easy to clear even fast so for that reason i think r6 would be very dope as a addition it would be also something like it's always the common question like uh, what can come to us add to the game without saying like ah oh, but now i also have to farm this well r6 is one of those things that can really improve r6 or doing something different on like the whole mechanic of the boss or just making it completely new a little bit difficult we have to farm some new stuff get a lot of good rewards because this instead of the 10 points something k that we were looking at already is that's that's nice looking stuff then they could also make this maybe the game would become a little bit too easy to max out all of your runes if they also implement something like this plus people that just use a lot of grinds just were farming a lot of r5 are a little bit sad if this happens but don't think they we they like you know honestly i don't really think that they would do something like this i, I think that that is maybe a little bit too strong well it's mainly this thing that other thing was something else i don't really think they're gonna do something like this that easily but they could definitely easily do something like this. Make an R6 rather than an R5. It's just going to be so much better. Let me know in the comments what you guys think that they should do with an R6. Or if they should do an R6 or anything like that. Also let me know. What are you mainly farming right now? Because I think counters should look at the numbers of what dungeons are being farmed. Because in all honesty, I think that people nowadays are just mindlessly spamming giants and doing nothing else they already made artifacts a lot easier by uh, making artifacts instant plus 15 i think it's a very good change i would like to see a plus six or a plus nine on uh runes as well because then the cell exclusion which they're really trying to push is like use the cell exclusion share it to people blah blah it's like okay cool i like it for artifacts i decently like it for grinds or i actually like it for grinds but i don't like it for runes at all because the plus six is simply not there 
Then one more thing, like say while you're complaining and whining about well, shit that could be better anyways, why the fuck do I have a storage maximum on this? They're stacking anyways. Just like I can understand come to a saying like, okay, we don't really want people to store a lot of runes because if they have a lot of runes, it takes up a lot of storage and that's a lot of memory. So every player times every monster times every runes, blah, blah, blah. It really adds up to a big number of storage. Storage could be an issue. I could be, I don't, I don't know the exact numbers, but plausible, very plausible. What is not plausible is like, if this number was 12 or this number was 16 million, it cost you zero less in storage. Just up this number, just up it. I would say it is okay to decent to give a certain max to it because uh, if there is no max to it, people will be mindlessly grinding shit and never actually using anything. If this number was actually infinite, people would just be mindlessly grinding everything and never using anything because using things takes effort. Room management in the end is the thing that takes you most amount of time in this game, except for maybe RTA or Siege if you want to do that actively. But farming is always easy. Managing and doing runes and that kind of stuff, that takes a lot of time. So... But I still would say 3k is a very low number, especially with especially with all of the ancient runes and grinds and those kind of things. You want to keep all of those in memorials. You want to keep all of those resistance 12. Is this also resistance accuracy? Most of them, right? Yep. It's one of those things like you don't really want to sell it. You're going to use it at some point, but it's also filling up the storage really easily. So if I go back to R5, this is filled like super easily once again. So it would be nice that maybe even split gems and grinds. 3k in one, 3k in the other. I don't know, give it some numbers to it. But it would be very nice if they actually up this number to a bunch more. And I think everyone can agree on that, that we would like a bunch more because I see a whole bunch of people selling off the blues. But in the end, a blue that can roll a six is pretty much better than having nothing on it or having a four from a hero on it. So I would recommend a lot of people to keep blues, but I don't recommend people to be, uh, people to keep blues because you're running out of storage really fast. So that's kind of the thing that I would say. Come to us, room for improvement. So once again, guys, let me know in the comments what do you guys think about these improvements, and I hope to see you in a next video. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more guides, join the Discord and check out the content tab, which has the dungeon guide archive and the video guide archive, which contains all of the guides that you need. Hope to see you there.